Yep. Yeah. Welcome to the Utah Football Fans Podcast. It's a big week, everybody. Mm, yes, indeed, <laughs> baby. It was a big week last week. So many games to talk about. And then it is a big week this week. So welcome to the podcast. Thanks for everyone who is here live in the chat. Please make sure you are subscribed. Please make sure you like the video and yeah, participate in the chat. We want to hear what you have to say because... There's a lot going on this week. We have a lot to talk about. It's a great week. Please make sure you are following us on all of our social media sites, Twitter, Instagram, join the Facebook group. And again, subscribe on YouTube. A big thank you to our sponsor, Thomas Orthodontics. Please look him up at thomasortho.com. Follow him on Instagram. See all of the awesome before and after pictures of his amazing work. And then we do want to give a shout out to Jordan. I was not there, sadly, to meet you, Jordan. But why don't you give a shout out to Jordan? Yeah. So on Friday, we ran a little contest for two tickets to the game. Um, it was cool. Had a lot of interaction. You know, you do the thing. And Jordan and his wife, Sydney, I hope I got that right. Sydney won. Hey, Texas Mike. Um, <laughs> we want to talk to you, buddy. Um, <laughs> they won. So it was, it's crazy. I, I got to tell this. I got to shout you out, man. So send him a message. Hey, congratulations. You won fair and square. Awesome. And he's, uh, can you make it right? Yep, we'll be there. Cool. He gets there. He's on time, unlike about 30% of the stadium. And uh, we're talking to him. Hey, oh, we just drove up from St. George. Oh. And he goes, yeah, we were on Lake Powell when we got the message. So he got the message while they were on Powell, pull the boat, drive to St. George, drove up for the game. So that, my friends, that's a fan. That is that's dedication. A- yeah, they need to be applauded. Sydney and Jordan. Sydney and Jordan. Super fans. It was awesome meeting you. It was great. And uh, I like your wife's hat that she had to buy because it was so it freaking was a cool hot looking and hat. bright. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, did you leave sunburned? Uh, I had the foresight to bring sunscreen that I shared with about seven people okay, on my row. So <laughs> You said you still got sunburned, though. I just have a perfect stupid tan line from where my shirt was. So... <laughs> Well, that's awesome. I'm so glad that you guys could be there. The and use Marcus the, the Prophet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and Marcus. Yes. Marcus came. If you're a fan of the show from a long time ago, <laughs> the Marcus Minute. First time he's been to a game in a while. So it was good. It was a lot of fun. It was warm. It was great, man. It was good weather. Eclipse had just left, which was cool. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's get into the game. Cal recap. Let's start with offense. Offensively. Hey, one of us said we would score four touchdowns. Which one of that was? Oh, that was this guy. No, you didn't. That's a lie. Dude. You did? 100%. No. And Somebody that, and verify knows it. That's it. not true. Bull. I think it was Texas Mike said, how are you going to score 28 points? <laughs> and I said, we score four touchdowns. That's how. I said Cal would score 14. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the offense. Let's okay, get to, well, let's yeah. Get if we, we scored four touchdowns. So how are you, you feeling about it? Rose said you said three touchdowns. And okay, Rose, I, Rose I believe Rose. Okay, Rose, quick math. I'm I I might be dumb, but I know that 28 <laughs> is four touchdowns. Aloha. Aloha. Are you in Hawaii? Oh man. My gosh, I'm That's so jealous. Great. Anyway, the offense was the offense. It was it was frustrating at times. Um I I really surprised to see Vaki back there. That that is I I kind of love it. It's it's a weird dynamic. I mean he's Defensive player, converted defensive player. Um, frustrating as can be, especially in the first half. But, you know, they, they did enough to win. It's kind of all you can say, right? It's 34-14, man. 34, I, I, that's that's great. Phil, true. I, I, look. Um, Way more than I thought we were going to do. Yeah, Britt had like six points. I don't remember what my score was. I think I said 17-14. And I, and I get that. Yeah, whatever. Okay, was it an exciting offense? No, it wasn't an exciting offense. I, I mean, when you watch some games and they're throwing the ball over the all over the yard, yeah, there was it was nothing like that. However, we had what what was it? Three hundred and forty yard rushing. What was what was the rushing? It was unbelievable. I don't know. I had it pulled. No, up. we had three hundred seventeen yards rushing. That's crazy. That's crazy. You don't realize that in the game. No, I when I heard that stat, it didn't feel. 
you know, after watching the game, it didn't feel that meant like that many yards. So I was, I was impressed. JJ, huge part. It's good to have him back just because, because of his power. Yeah. Uh, he scored a touchdown. I think it was just one score, but he had a good game. Um, yeah, Vaki, no doubt, is a was a surprise, but it's a la Weddle. It's Weddle. It's it's uh, the Weddle package. Kind of has that same body and speed and skill. It was it was great. So really going forward, as far as I understand it. That's yep. what it seems like. Um, I mean, it did it definitely he was that kind of that spark that we have been missing. At least I felt that way. Him coming in, he was desperately needed. <laughs> well, and it it, it adds to some dynamic to the offense. Yeah. You know, it's a new thing. It's a new wrinkle. Um, Barnes scored a rushing touchdown. So that was, yeah. you know, I will say the one thing, there was a couple times. And what I mean, what do I know? I don't know anything about football, but <laughs> there's a couple of times where it just looks like if he just keeps the ball, there's room, you know, so I'm sure they're going to address some of that. But hey, 34 points. It was the probably the best offensive performance we've had all year. Um, we ran the ball really well. The passing is still <laughs> painful at times, um, but we didn't turn the ball over. Okay, that's the so that's we the had key. 128 yards passing. Yeah. No, that's it's what bad. it is. What it is, but no turnovers, and that's a huge, yeah. huge factor in Whitball. In this situation, oh yeah, we can't have turnovers, and we haven't. Yeah. Uh. So so 314 in the uh, th on the ground and 128. Now the thing is about. Well, do you want to go deep? Is that no? Yeah, I mean, let's do it. Go. Well, let me say this defense. though, and I didn't. You know, it's interesting when you watch a game and the feel you have for it, and then you look at the stats. Uh -huh. This was just one of those games that had a different feel watching than when I see the stats. One hundred percent. Okay. Uh, I didn't realize we were ten for seventeen on third down. That's very good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They were only four for twelve on third down. Yeah. Which is pretty common right now. That's Utah's what we've defense. been doing, but that's yeah. that's, I mean, really good. They had, they had a total of two hundred fifty four yards, and I don't know. I felt like they had more than that. I mean, they threw, they threw only threw for one hundred eighty eight yards, and there were at times I thought they had more than that. Well, it was a freshman. I don't know what you felt. A freshman quarterback, right? And then he did get hurt, so he went out. Did and they say what some what other... happened? On the broadcast, on no, that. his arm was on this side, and it should have been on this side. And he got <laughs> well, he just slammed. got laid out, and big guy <laughs> land on him, and then he he okay. limped away. Is okay. basically all it was. But you know, sixty six yards rushing is all they had, <laughs> which is what fourteen points and all of that. The D kicked their butt. Yeah, and we had the pick deep in their in their territory that we ended up scoring on. Yeah, that, that was big. I mean. More or less a pick six. You could look at it that way. We converted into a touchdown. So that was huge. You know, so let me, let me, what do you think about this though? I can't remember the exact time. Someone will know when it was. I think it was, in, it was still in the fourth quarter. We were up by 10. I think they scored. Then they were only down by 10. We had the ball, I think a couple of times. They didn't do anything with it. Huh? Now they're moving the ball. And if they score a touchdown, they're within three, and there's like six minutes left or something. Yeah. Or even if they kick a field goal, they're within seven, and they've been stopping us. And the game was not out of hand at that point. Mm -hmm. But the dude missed the field goal. That So that was – And the, that – then it all changed. That was yes. game over. Yeah, that yes. was the drive that the, the crowd finally came alive. Cause yeah, because that was the drive with the Cole Bishop hit, which I – We'll, we'll talk about. And then yes. I think they got a roughing the passer on that same drive, if I remember right. It was around that. It was around that. That's and when the, the swear words started flying out of started my mouth. Started flying. <laughs> and that's when Rice Eccles, I mean, I've said it before, but there's no, there's no environment like a pissed off Rice Eccles stadium. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's incredible. When Vaki scores a touchdown and everyone goes, yeah, Riff, Riff, you, you suck. suck. <laughs> I mean, that, that literally was the turn that it took. <laughs> but you're right, man. We, they, they're driving momentum, field goal missed. Two plays later, Avaki had that 78 yard run and the game was over. Yeah, I saw Rose Whittingham trolling Barton, getting tackled by the guy laying on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> he totally did. That was funny. That was funny. I wish I would have looked this up. I can't remember. My husband saw this stat. So, Jesse, if you're in the chat, please put it in here. But it's something Brent like. Swears. <laughs> oh, Texas Mike. <laughs> If only you were at a game with me, you would know. Anyways, 
Um, no, it's something like we Utah has allowed the fewest number of points in the six games that we've played halfway into the season that we ever have before. Which is crazy considering some of the opponents we've played. Right. I mean, you, Florida, Baylor typically has scored a lot of points. UCLA. UCLA um, Cal, Cal, Oregon State. Oregon State. Yeah. Yeah. Cal has been putting up points, though. I sure they scored, what, 40 on Oregon State or whatever they did? They only gave them 14. <sighs> well, and the rushing yards, too. I mean, we've talked about this plenty of times, but we just were holding these teams to so few rushing yards. And even the teams who that's their strength. So defensively, it was a great game. Uh, let's talk. I about think we it. can't. Well, I don't think we had any inj- injuries, did we? That I'm aware of. That I'm aware of. Now that they've said they had, and no, it didn't seem like anyone beyond left. what we already know. Yeah. So that's good. I mean, JJ hobbled off a couple times, but he's kind of been doing that all year. I mean, he's got a high ankle sprain. Yeah. If, if you've ever had a high ankle sprain, they absolutely suck, and they usually take about I mean, six while, weeks man. to heal. And that's on someone who's taking it easy, not you know, running the ball against Cal. So he's going to be labored for probably the rest of the year. But that's why having Vaki come in Uh and be kind of that spark, it's so important because we are just so thin on running back, which is so frustrating because we were so uh hyped on our running back room. One thing that happened last week when we weren't between last episode and this one is Curry's out for the year. If you've missed that with a non-football related injury, non-football, non-contact, non-contact. Which is never good. I think was, so we lost another running back. So, you know, you're exactly right. At the beginning of the year, we were like, we, we got were Johnson. so excited. We got this guy, you know, Glover and Curry. Even and now it's we're converting Vaki to a running back, and he did he did a great job. So and Pittman's gone, and, and Pittman's, Pittman's out for gone. the year. Carl, you're right. I, it's something like 77 points allowed in these last six games, which is just <laughs> that's nothing. Number one rush defense in college football. Yeah. Okay. Let's. The number let's one talk, rush defense. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Let's talk about the targeting. Elephant? It wasn't. There's no. It was crap. It was a terrible call. Everyone, everyone knows it was a terrible. It's call. an awful call. And it, uh, someone's just Parker said there's been 95 tar- targetings, and zero have been reversed. Is do I have that 95 right? 95 appeals. Appeal? You mean? Appeals Parker? of the targets. This See, rule. Such, I yes. have. I have railed on this rule. For you. That was horrible. It's just horrible. I understand the intent of targeting to remove someone putting their head down and blasting through another guy's head. I understand it's that. It's safety. We all know we it's get safety. That, okay. But when it's a football play and the receiver puts his own head down and Cole Bishop's shoulder pad glances off the guy's face mask, it's going that, sideways. It is going sideways. That's not targeting. It is a broken rule. It is a crap rule. And the fact that the NCAA even has an appeal so that they can just go, no, basically what it was pretty much what it was. That's what Michelle is saying. Why even have, Why even that? have it? If, if not one has ever been overturned. And the thing was, again, I was watching it from home, watching it in real time. They just crashed into each other. It was like a football play. They, the ball was overthrown. They just were both running. They crashed into each other. And so then all of a sudden the flag came out. I didn't yeah. even think twice about it in real time. The thing that, Okay, he gets kicked out for the game, the rest of the game. The fact that it's then the next game for an entire half, yeah. that's what really needs to be remedied in this whole thing. There has to be levels of this garbage. There should be levels. Where uh-huh. it happens in the game, the ref goes, he's out. You should be then able to appeal it, and some committee should be able to go, oh, yeah, that doesn't warrant. Flagrant versus okay. Yeah, it doesn't right. warrant a then Next half ejection. He, we don't have Bishop for the first half of the whole game. Yeah. If you want to USC. give him a 15 yard penalty in the game for making contact with the head, fine. Okay, fine. But ejection from that game, okay. Yeah. That bugs me in of itself. But you're exactly right. He's going to miss the first half against USC because of a crap, terrible, terrible call. And this is the second one we've had where. They've missed the first half of the next game. And there's certain targetings that I think that warrants it. Absolutely. We've seen them. I mean, the one against Barnes again in Oregon State. I like there are ones, but those are the things that need to then be looked at afterwards. If you're going to have this rule, which we all know it's around to stay, you got to have this stuff that you can then look at and go, okay, yeah, that doesn't warrant a next game ejection or it does. That's how I feel. It's, it's just so unbelievable. Well, I heard a guy today on, 
analyzing another targeting call. I don't know if you saw the Rutgers guy huh? cream a dude and got kicked out of the game. Okay. Horrible. But what call. they were saying, and I think it applies to Bishop, is that you know a lot of these guys are trying to get into the NFL. So you want to have stuff on tape, people to see. Well, in this case, of all games, it's USC. So for Cole Bishop, that matters. To have to in sit his, out his quest to make the league. Now he has to sit out a half because some these guys make a stupid call like that. Yeah, yeah it bugs me in so many levels. It well, just it just wasn't because it's what you said is Bishop didn't hit him with the crown. He came sideways, and if the guy doesn't lean down, he stays up. He just smashes him in the gut. Well, the reality is, it's actually but it's so fast. But it's number one, it's so fast. But it's actually phenomenal hit placement by Cole Bishop because if you think about it, if and the guy turned. catches the ball, he's blowing right through the guy's arms to an incomplete pass. Which is what he was doing. Which is what he was trying to accomplish. But the guy bends over at the last second. That's why the replay stuff bugs me too. Because they make the call based off of the really slow-mo replay instead of the real time when it happens. Mm -hmm. It happens so fast. They just were both going for the play and they crashed into each other. Yeah. And obviously I'm pissed off because this, <sighs> this happened against my team and an all American safety. Now that we're going to the Coliseum, it really bugs me, but I watch enough college football that Rutgers one where I watch it. The flag comes out, they kick him out and I go, what are they watching? They're watching a no, different yeah, sport a than I tackle. Am. He made a kill the dude on a good, perfect tackle. Just because it's a violent hit does not mean it's targeting. It's still all football. Right, we've... It's football. But yeah, then you, the whole rule of then you get kicked out for the next half of a game that needs to be looked at because that, yeah, so that's I'm, garbage. Was it Carol of virus? It should be like the, the, the kicker roughing. Yes. Roughing, the, roughing the kicker, kicker versus running, running into. into the kicker. Yeah. Something like that. Different Fair levels. Enough. Just a level. Different that's levels level. of it. You've got to anyways. All right. All right well, that's blah, garbage. Blah, blah. everyone agrees on that. Oh, it is so frustrating though because yes. I was surprised by the final score. I'm not gonna lie. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm glad to see our offense put up some points. Yeah. Uh exciting. We took them out. Five and one, man. I know. That's what's lost in all this. Like I talked to Utah fans. Five and, and like, one. There's like this, like, oh man, we're just, I don't know. We're just not as I'm going, we're five and one. We're literally exactly where I predicted us to be when I thought Cam would be playing to this point. Yeah. But it but all now, begins right now wow. <laughs> for all the teams. Honestly, for all the teams yeah. competing, uh, it really, the, the oh, gauntlet yeah. begins for it. It began for, with Washington, Oregon and some other games, you know, like last week, mm -hmm. but for us and for SC and everybody else. Now that the, you know, the heft of the schedule is mm -hmm. right now that this is going to determine yeah. who's going to play in the championship game, man. This is sweet. The meat of the schedule. All right, well, let's get into it. Utah. USC. Before we do that, please make sure you're subscribed, subscribed, and please make sure you hit that super thanks or the super chat to all of you that are in the chat with us. Well, and I gotta say, there's a, we've got an Oregon State fan, Connor. Hi, Connor. Here, good. To, by the way, the Beavers guys <laughs> looking really good, really good. Well, I'm impressed. We said they were going to. Um, man, they do. Look there was good, that man. play, the the targeting on Barnes against Oregon State. Um, that literally that exact play happened against. When we, Utah played, who did we play the week before that? Uh, UCLA. Mm -hmm. And our guy got kicked out. So then the exact same play, essentially, where it was the helmet hit his chest, but it was the helmet down. So it just kind of, whether I agree with it or not, that that's what kind of happened there. So Texas Mike, you got to stay, stay subscribed, because after this week, we're still going to be friends. But this week... Get out of here, Mike. We got to go to LA, to the Coliseum, Saturday... <laughs> 6 p.m. Mountain Time. For good old time's you sake. Bestia. What happened? Uh... It's, it's applicable. Wait, Utah can play a game? After the sun? This is so sweet, man. I know. It's at 6 p.m. It's finally, we get an evening game. <sighs> USC, baby. <sighs> right I don't know. It's hard to believe it. It's going to be October 21. I know. I don't know Honestly, where, you, where you want to start with. season's halfway over, by the way. It, it, it's weird, and here's this game, and it's going to be. This has been the looming. This is exciting. The looming game. <laughs> this has been the game. Let's be really honest here. Let's be really honest. I know I know that the, um, John the Notre w, Dame game. John W., you should have heard my song before we went on air. <laughs> here's the thing. Notre Dame was circled. 
This has been the game on USC fans' calendars. Oh, yeah. Is that true, USC oh, fans? I mean. Get on Twitter, bro. This has been the – they have been saying bro. October 21st since last December. Ever since we've been trashing Ever that since every day. Have, Wait till you come to the Coliseum. Well, here we go. And here it comes, and I don't know if I'm ready for it. So <laughs> sing the song. Sing it, Bryn. Sing it. Oh, I can't remember the tune now. Just something about – Cry baby, cry baby Caleb. Caleb. Cry it's baby nothing original. Caleb. Cry baby Caleb. Yeah, I don't know. Don't it sing something. it. He's going to clip it. <gasps> That's oh, true. Dang don't it, clip Mike. it. Don't, don't clip that. <laughs> he's, in the, he's doing it right now. He's going to do it right now. <laughs> Anyways, yes, this is it. <laughs> they want revenge so badly. I don't know. I, I really don't know where to start with this. I mean. Let's start with this. I'll start. Let's start with this. Notre Dame embarrassed USC. Can we just say it that way? Yeah, they kicked their butt. They kicked their butts. And the reality is Notre Dame played the Utah playbook of beat them with defense and then take advantage offensively of them. That's what they did. So they took what Utah did to USC last year and they just they put it in. Now, can we do it? Can we do it? I don't know. Notre Dame's got a better offense than we do. I think our defenses are very similar. So and it was at Notre Dame, yeah. which plays a big factor in it. So, yeah, but the thing that's interesting though is it really was more USC's offense that hurt it for them, <laughs> which that's always the opposite of what you're talking about. Well, their defense is garbage too. So, but that's what I mean. It's always they're going to lose the game because of their defense. But against Notre Dame, it was it was because of their offense. He threw three picks in the first half. Three interceptions. Defense was the, de the look. The, they were gotta, disciplined too, man. If you watch that game, the the guy rushing, they stayed within their lanes mm -hmm. basically, and that's one of the keys of taking out Caleb, is because he's hero ball. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. you, you get pressure. He, he's man, he's agile. He gets out he, and he makes these unbelievable throws on the run out of the pocket. How many times have you seen that? But yeah. Notre Dame didn't really let him do it that much. A couple times he did he made some crappy throws. But I was watching the game, and Notre Dame was very disciplined yeah. in their pressure. So Caleb was left there. I don't know. I so he that's was, what we do best. He was sacked four times, right? Or he's been sacked ten times in the last two games. Mm -hmm. So against Notre Dame, and who'd they play? It's, I'm blanking. Arizona the week before. Yeah, they played Arizona the week before. He's been sacked 10 times in the last two weeks, which is one of our specialties. Yeah, it's our, so it's our biggest hoping. strength. It's our biggest strength is our defensive line. We have to get in there and get the pressure on him because he but doesn't do great when he... You're exactly right. How many times have you watched he pressure, he rolls, oh. all of a sudden it's a 70-yard touchdown pass. That's his MO. It's his yeah. MO. So it comes down to being disciplined and keeping him in that pocket. And then when you finally get a chance to take him down, you got to do it. You have to do it or he'll, he'll kill you because his, his receivers is all freaking good. Yeah, they yeah, got they talent are. all over. But number one is number one branch. Is that his name? The freshman? I don't dude? know. They don't yeah. have their freaking names on their jerseys. So I, I don't know. Yeah, like he's, a, he's, the, like, he's, he's unbelievable. He's we, if we one. kick off to him oh, we're, or punt oh, to him, we're screwed. he's unreal. It's going to do some damage. Yeah. Please just don't kick. To, you got to so, kick to the other side no matter what. I yeah. mean, the, the thing about this game is it really is strength against strength and then weakness against weakness. Their offense and our defense, that's our team's strengths right there. And then can our offense do enough against their defense? Can we milk the clock enough? Can we run the ball to make it so that they have limited possessions? That's going to be so key in this game. It's going to be huge in this know. game. Okay, well, they average basically 492 yards of offense per game. So they're just under, they're just under 500, 500 yards. yards a game. That is insane. We average total yards to 322, which, you know, is our offense has been bad up until last week. Bad. So, it's okay. Night best. and day, almost yeah. 500 no yards. Sugar man. Coating it. <laughs> yeah. Um, they give up yards passing. No, no, no. Their passing per game is 332, almost 333. We're, we're 149. Oh. Rushing is 158 for them. We're 172. But here's the thing is yards allowed. This is Utah big. is is 278. Yards allowed for them is four almost 400, 397. Okay, they're their offense is explosive, man. 
yeah. Okay, I mean, Caleb you, is knows in the hunt again for the Heisman. Um, he makes the plays, but they got talent all over the place. Their defense is garbage. We get it. But let me ask this. ESPN, I mean, this doesn't really mean anything, but according to their analytics, oh, the they have percent chance to win. They have SC at 70% ch chance to win, and Utah is 30% chance to win. Do you disagree, agree with that, or change it? Let's just get, let's get, let's get I, down I, to it, everyone. I will, here's my, I actually, I didn't know that was the number, but as I thought, I, th I thought the same. The biggest factors are number one, obviously their offense. Can we stop them? You're never going to stop them. You have to limit them. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to limit them to 35 points, not 48 points. Okay. Can our offense do enough damage to keep the, keep pace with them? I, I just, honestly, I just, I don't think so. I don't see it. They haven't shown me. And then on the road at the Coliseum at night and a complete and utter re revenge game. I just think this is, it's a tall order. Utah <laughs> is tough. It's going to be really, 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 really <laughs> tough. I'm not counting Utah out by any means, but man, it's a tall order this week. It's interesting because I, yeah, I don't know that I could switch that at all. But there are things Utah for sure has the advantage. Like, obviously, our defense, their O line is not great. So then <laughs> getting to Caleb and we have the defensive players that can do that, we just, we don't have the offense to keep up. They will score. There, you can't, you're not going to keep them from scoring. You never will. You, you have to slow them down. I just, I don't know if we are then going to be able to do the back and forth and get enough points. Now, Notre Dame stopped them enough that they only scored, what, 28? But but Notre Dame was able to capitalize on those stops. And on the turnovers. On the turnovers. So my biggest fear is, okay, the defense makes a stop. They punt. No, no, Notre Dame, dude. Score. They scored 48. Yeah, Notre Dame scored. No, but but, no, Notre, but USC only scored 20. 20. 20. But what he's saying is Notre Dame capitalized on the short field yeah. because of the turnovers, because of the stops. I don't know if our offense is going to, exactly. going to be able to. I so mean, even if we make them punt, let's say three, three possessions in a row, what do we do with it? I just don't see our offense going down and all of a sudden we're up 17, 14. And we points. have, we've beat USC three times in a row. Obviously we talk all about last year, yeah. the two times, but the year before that was the first time we won in the Coliseum since like, 1914 or so something talking about that some weird know. crazy stat so if if utah somehow beat them it'd be four times in a row which is hard to do for any team let alone doing that to usc that's really hard it's tough it's a tall order do you feel differently you're kind of smirking over no here. i'm just listening to you guys do you I, think it should be different yeah what is your thought on it that we should have a higher than 30 percent chance no i don't i agree with it yeah, Sad, I, uh, I don't think we're going to hold SC to 20 points because there is comp it's complimentary football. It's offense and defense. That's wit ball. Now, if by some chance we can actually run the ball and win some clock and win the clock game, which that's wit ball under these kind of circumstances. And if we can make Caleb do turnovers again. So if the D you're right. And if we can get some turnovers and we don't do turnovers, they don't get a punt return or stuff like that. I mean, I, yeah. to me, it's like we're on the edge. Well, the margin of error is very thin for us to win under the circumstances because our offense has been anemic till last week. So it's not explosive. They're explosive. So, okay. Let's say the defense, you know, holds, holds them to 35 points. Is Utah going to score 36 or more? That's my, that's that's, that's why I, I feel like unless the D comes out, get some turnovers, we can actually run the ball, take a bunch of clock, and just things work in our favor. You know, the punting game does what it's been doing, put them, you know, the whole field. They just can't have these massive chunk plays that always seem to get against everybody. I think that yeah. I think USC's I I don't think they're as good this year as they were last year. Personally, I've watched a lot of their games. Um, I mean, they lost to Notre Dame, which is a good football team. Okay. Don't forget, they went to overtime against Arizona. 
triple overtime against Arizona. Now, Arizona is an improved team, but Arizona is not a world beater. They're three and three right now, I think. So they took them to overtime. Okay. Watch that game. The difference was Arizona's offense was able to keep pace, able to score points. I mean, I think they had 40 plus points in that game. So that's my biggest concern. Now, it's huge. We have Peppa back. Fillinger played for the first time this week. O'Toole's back. Ellis is having an absolute dominant season. So if we can get that pressure, we can limit them, put them into bad situations, but we have to win the clock battle. You have to win the turnover battle. And if we get short fields, let's say we get a turnover on the 35, you have to convert that into seven. You have to. And I just He's shaking the table. He's so I, oh, I'm he's so keyed up about it. Well, yeah, this is a huge game. <laughs> this game sets sets a tone for the remaining for the remaining six games we have. This is a huge game. I, I understand this. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> don't don't tell him to level down. Yeah, I'm not. He's I'm all, just saying this is the USC game, dude. <laughs> How about you get a little excited? Jeez. Hi, I'm James. <laughs> the USC game. You're shaking the table. By the way, Utah's a higher ranked team than USC, Texas Mike. Just throwing that out there, bud. Yeah, how's that? That is crazy, actually. <laughs> Suck We're going to find out this Who weekend. Hey, I, do I think we can win? Yeah. Uh, it's But things have got to, you know, got to break our way. Either our off, offense somehow explodes beyond what I think can happen. And then if our defense plays as solid, even against this kind of explosive offense, yeah, we're going to win the game because we've done it. Right. Well, and, and someone said it. I don't know who it was. Utah plays the underdog role better than anybody in college football. Whittingham. That's true. You know Whittingham's in his office right now just freaking loving the fact that they ESPN. What's the, <laughs> hey, what's the spread on this? I'm going to oh, I, I thought it was six and a half. I don't know. I thought it was like six and a half. That's it? That's it. I was going to say like ten oh, and a half. I feel uh -uh. like it would be more than that. Uh -uh. Okay. That's actually not that. Uh. I mean, it's it's all about, you know, whatever. If we can. Pilgrim. Six and a half. Six and a half. Really? A one score game. Hey, man, hey, that's let's go. I love let's it. Do it. Oh, okay. Let's get scores. Some more, hey, get some more sacks. Everyone, give us your scores. Let's just sack him a few times, please. Oh, we're sacking him. Please, just he's going down. Sack him. We're, I we'll want the him. towel boys to be crying on the sidelines with their towels again. It's my favorite thing ever. Do they still do the towel boys. Yes. Maybe I've just blocked him out. Well, they didn't have anything to cheer about against Notre Dame on Saturday, so they weren't waving their towels around. How would you like to be a towel boy? <laughs> yeah, how do you get that How job? do you get the towel boy job? How do you job? become a I mean, towel come boy? come on. Do you have to, like, audition for it, I wonder? <laughs> <laughs> it's like cheerleaders. All right, here's your towel. Go. <laughs> Speaking of cheerleaders, though, don't you like their, their, their cheerleaders outfits? The, you have brought, this is not the first time you've brought this up. It's yeah. a little concerning. Actually. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not. They, do you not like the USC dancers? It's, they're not the cheerleaders; they're the dancers in the white. Get it right. We know what you're talking about. Yeah, of course. They're not. They're, aren't those the cheerleaders too? They're the dancers. Whoever it is, those are nice. They are. <laughs> they're, they're great. That's, yeah. Well, hey, <laughs> the Lincoln Pool boys, <laughs> the towel boys. Okay, so let's get. Let's I get, can't give you a score. Oh, they're the song girls. Yeah, Sorry, the song, song girls. leaders, the dancers. Towel boys drive me crazy, but you know. All right. Towel boys. I just want to, you know. I. Uh, All right. I can't. Let's give some scores. Let's have some guts here. Here we go. <laughs> Hope oh, Vincent. Vincent, I'll buy you a drink, bud. If you're right. <laughs> Thirty-one three. I'll buy you uh, um, as many drinks on, as you I, want. I imagine so. <laughs> um. Gosh, dang it! I'm gonna go. 35-34 Utah. What? Yeah. You're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> That's Homer talking. 100%. 100%. Do you want Homer me to talking. be a Homer? Do you, or do you, my, want me? do you want my Homer prediction or my real yeah, which, prediction? Which prediction should I give? My Homer prediction? <laughs> that was my, my Homer rational prediction, prediction. I'm going to run with. I thought you were going to be insane saying 35-34 USC, and then you said Utah. No. I, look, Brent, I'm not you. I look. You're not going to be realistic. I can't be here. realistic here. I, this is the Utah football fans podcast. <laughs> no. As much as I, all the emotions. Yeah. 38 21 USC. And if we can hold them to 38 30, 21. If we can hold them to 38, I'm going to be really happy. And if we can score 21, <laughs> I'm going to be really happy. <laughs> I don't know what he's smoking. 
He's being Homer. Homer, Homer. Utah. Okay, are you going to be Homer? Are you gonna be yeah, I'm going gonna, gonna to give both of my... I'm Here's my Homer. Wait, so then I get a second one. Then, so my too. Homer call <laughs> is is that. It's, it's I don't know. It's like 38, 31 Utah. That's my Homer okay. call. Okay. My realistic call is it's going to be 38, 17. <laughs> For USC. Didn't I say 38? I think he's, yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking prior. Yeah. My non homer I'll change call. it. I'll say 34 21. I mean, it <laughs> I think USC scored over 30 because, yeah, they are. Oh, yeah. I just now, if we, if hey, if they don't, we're going to win this game because that well, means we're hey, controlling look, the clock, baby. I, yeah, no, I agree. Look, I'll say my non homer is like 42 14. Oh, now, now he's, see, he's, he's garbage. He's going like both ways. He literally <laughs> just did the same thing. He literally just did the same. Oh, no, he's going. You did the same thing. Your veins are popping out no, of your. Dude, check that. You're going to blow. <laughs> so Eyes are going to go right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't play well in the Coliseum. That's That's been a fact. We've. we've... Coliseum, though, I'm going to throw some shade here. You're not very loud. It's sold out, isn't it? I mean, it probably is. It should be. I would think it would be. This is the revenge game. We all get it. You all want the revenge on us, but I don't know. It's not the greatest atmosphere. (laughs) Don't spill your drink either. I know. You've got... See, this is the problem. You get so... All right. Well, we got to move things along because we're all All right. Go Utes, baby. This is big. Go Utes. If you're going to the game... I wish I was going, but we're not. Are we? Are we? Are we? (laughs) Anybody have a plane that can get me there? And I'll go. Yeah, I got a private charter. That would be awesome. Mike, hey, Texas Mike, do you have a plane? You want to fly us in? Fly us in. Oh, God. What are we wearing? Do we know? Because white has been bad for us. They haven't said said yet. Gosh, don't wear that. Oh, by the way, I thought our uniforms last week. Yeah, I like that combo. I loved it. I like the Ute Proud Day. The Ute Ute Proud Day. I wish they'd they'd incorporate. You say that? Yeah. Yeah. Incorporate that. Every game, like the Ute stripe. logo stuff, like the the stripe that they had on the helmet. Yeah, man, they, I they love need it. that on every uniform. Uh, the halftime show is my favorite halftime show of the year. Oh, I love I wish it. They would have them. Every I love week. it. Yeah, man, put put that stripe on this helmet. That'd yeah, be so cool. You proud? All right, where are we okay, at? Okay, um, we already kind of talked about USC Notre Dame. Let's talk hold about. On, hold on. I, have, I have one point on the USC Notre Dame game that I didn't get out. Notre Dame switched their field to the turf, and that is a travesty. Notre Dame needs to be playing on grass. And I hate that. There you go. It's okay. freaking Notre go. Dame. Be on grass, damn it. 34-28 Utah, Hutch. I mean, that, you know, that would be great. Okay, let's talk about Oregon, Washington. That was a good game. Next. Oh, gosh, that was a good game. Who? Where do we go? Oregon, Washington. Are any of our Oregon fans in the chat flush? Are they, are they I don't know if you're here. I Serenity now. <sighs> that was a heartbreaker. I that really... That's a great game. But it was such a good... As someone who really didn't care yeah. who won, it was so much fun to watch. That's exactly it. As someone who was just didn't care one way or another, man, those are two really, really good football teams. I could see them both playing in the Pac-12 championship game. Uh, At this was, point... It was just... I mean, wow, some great plays, man. At this point, it, it should be those two. Like, well, we'll see. I, oh my gosh! I we just will. said at, at this, this point. point, it should be those. Well, two you can't go teams. this point. Was there something that surprised you in that game or impressed you the most? I mean, no, just, I just thought I there are two very. I think they're two top four teams myself, but I know they can't do that. No one's going to do it. But they they're as good as the those SEC. two teams are as good as any teams in the country. Absolutely. Um, we'll glad. talk about the rankings in a second, but I'm just, yeah. you know, it's, it's one of those games to go, you know, fact is Oregon could have won that game. This is easy. Yeah. They could have come one, out one play. They were one play they're away. One play away, they man. Get that first down instead of a fourth down turnover. They, they win the and game. Washington made some plays and a dude misses a field goal. Yeah. So it's like, that's why you're exactly right. I watched the game, and as soon as it was over, I went, okay, Washington, top four team. But it bugs me how Oregon all of a sudden, it's like, oh, they lost the game. It's like, no, man, no. They, they are just as good. That was an extremely entertaining game. And we have to play both those teams. Uh, yeah, we do. 
So, Ooh. yeah. Oh, oh. That, that was the problem with watching him. Like, this is such a good game. And then I'm like, bring oh. Oregon. We want Oregon at Rice Eccles. Oh. Come at on, one man. O'clock. 130. 130. <sighs> no, I mean. Great game. Okay. We're, let me just ask, though, at the end of the game, an Oregon fan who or fans, whoever's here, <laughs> they went for it. Was it the 50 or something? Like 45-ish, 45 ish, 50. You know, I'm not biased because, yeah, it's not my team, but but him landing going for it, honestly, I'm okay with that because if you if they make the first down, it's game over. Game over. Plus the clock's running out, and you and Washington needs to go the distance. Dude, in two was it two plays are in the end zone? Two plays. Okay, well, that's yeah. <laughs> the D should have stepped up too then. But no, I I think honestly. He went for the win. The win was there to be had. Let's take it. Didn't work. A lot of people that I've listened to. That's how I see it. Well, a lot of people I've listened to, and I I agree with it. That one, I think, yeah, go for the win. It was the one right before halftime. They should have kicked the field goal. That one was so bizarre to me. Which I get. Like, Lanning was just, he's throwing everything at it. We are playing to win. I get that mentality. And of course, hindsight's twenty twenty. They got but, what the two point conversion on the first TD too. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, they went for two. He does that on a lot of things. So I don't know. He is so aggressive, but Austin, you're exactly right. Like it comes back to bite you, and it did at the end of the game. You should just kick the field goal at halftime because there was no. There's not really a benefit of. I don't know, but again, play, but here's to, the play thing. to win. Here's the thing. Okay, I love that they went for it on fourth down. Right, they get it, they win the game. It's over. Okay, but. They didn't. You're right. Two plays later, they score. There was still plenty of time. They drove down and had a chance to send it to overtime, and the dude misses the kick. Shit. So, so it, there's so many things that it's like, if, 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 if but that's football. You know, but yeah, I love they were aggressive. They went for it, but you got to hit that freaking kick, dude. But I mean, Kickers, bro. Washington was oh. leading the whole game. Oregon then came back. Uh-huh. I mean, Oregon stopped them on, like on the, two. the like two yard line that was awesome. four stops but then i it really it was the greatest game i okay so let's go here Penix, heisman nicks Penix, Penix. well i'm just okay they're different they're different Penix. They i still think he's the nfl guy. ready dude i i just he's that guy just gets a, <laughs> he just hucks that Gary so, speechless. So, I mean, think he about even, it. when you uh, when you observe the guy, a couple steps back, three step, five step, whatever it is, and then he just launches it, and it's like humming in there, perfect. Yeah. But that receiver, dude. But his guys catch the. What's ball. his name? Odunze. Uh huh. He catches everything. Unreal. Yeah. They're so freaking. That dude's good. in. They're so good. NFL stuff, but I'm just saying the way they threw the ball. Now with Nick's, he made some great throws. He runs. You know, I've said this in in the past. But when I watch Nick's play, um, it's Taysom Hill in so many ways to me. He's better than Taysom throwing. That's him. true. But yes, I see that. But the 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 Strong, body structure, the ability yeah. to run, the maturity. You know, he controls stuff. It's, it's just it's obvious as to whether that is a starting NFL quarterback. I don't think so. Mm-mm. I see him making the league. Oh, for sure. I see Penix making the league and starting it some point because the guy oh Penix has the arm that's on un- has blown me away that, so anyway uh, yeah they're very different quarterbacks i love bo nix's leadership and yeah the way he plays the game he's tough dude uh, but Penix also to answer the question george could washington beat georgia and michigan so that, that was a question i haven't seen enough of georgia to know i know georgia has kind of turned it on as of late but that offense. Yeah, but Georgia's star just got hurt. Yeah. He's out probably for who knows, the but tight possibly end. the rest of the season. Um, he had a sur- he had surgery. Yeah. Um, I think they beat. I'd Michigan. like to find out. I, I think they beat oh, Michigan. It'd be so sweet. Yeah. I don't know, man. I. Those are. But Michigan. I don't know. But all I'm saying they're they're, they're up so there with good. them. They're we'll a top four team. Put them in the top four. Here. It pisses me off. They're not. Wendy made a comment. Yes, the Oregon Duck diarrhea uniforms. Maybe that's why someone lost, liked them. They're so ugly. You know, it's duck diarrhea. Who liked the du- and- <laughs> the, the the duck diarrhea speckled unis? Don't make it. And what about the helmet? I liked the helmet. I liked the helmet too. The chrome. The chrome. I don't like. I, I don't like the chrome. helmet. I'm like okay with the helmets. helmet. 
Um, the other thing that was really funny was all the signs at game day. There was some good ones. <laughs> there was some great, great signs at game day. I didn't see about any of Penix. It. Yeah. Just look it up. Okay. Um, yeah, look up, yeah, I hate the Chrome too, man. Look up what oh, like Desmond was chanting before the game about Penix. Yeah. It was weird. <laughs> it was weird. I'll show you. Desmond it was Howard? Yeah. It was weird. Okay. It was um, <laughs> all right. Where are oh we my at? Gosh, I don't, do we, do we want to talk Colorado? Yes. Yeah, we got to talk Colorado. Everybody wants to talk Colorado. Colorado. Isn't that a beautiful game? What happened? Uh, oh, my gosh. You literally. stayed up. You both were awake. I went to bed. No. Full full disclosure, dude. I watched. It was 29 nothing. I, yeah, I, went I was to, off doing other stuff. Of course he I texted went to me. bed. I know. It was like 1 o'clock at night or whatever it was. It was like midnight. And I was I, like, are you do watching this? She's asleep. I got all the texts the next morning. Dude, I go, no, what's going on? Uh, it's going to overtime. <laughs> That's what's going on. I, I, no way. I can Stanford. <sighs> that was so cool. By the way, if I recall, so Stanford lost to Sacramento State earlier this year. Just throwing that out We've only won one game. Now, <laughs> now two. Two games. Oh, <laughs> They're one in the three, implosion. They? Also, was were they playing that game? Like in Antarctica, because based off of the way that people looked, I mean, they were like huddled up, and I looked it up. Well, not and, some of the fans; they were. Oh, okay. the fans were in like t-shirts, just hanging out. But Dion's like, in color- well, he yeah. thinks he's in Antarctica, has a parka or he whatever. Hood on. I'm going, it's dude. Probably like fifty. Wait, degrees. wait till it gets cold. I know. Wait till you you're, you're in Boulder, dude. Oh, oh, that game was crazy. It, it just Stanford put up over 500 yards of offense. They got that one receiver. I can't remember his name right now, but he played on. It was so fun. It was amazing. Goes to overtime. <laughs> it was great, dude. You know, I mean, you can say so many things about it. I do think playing yeah. playing Travis Hunter both ways. Well, like a hundred, he played like a hundred something snaps coming off of his injury. I just that's not- he got lit up, man. Yeah, I know. Did. I thought he was going to be done, but yeah. I, get, I thought his ribs were on this. This these ribs should have been on this side. But you know, his, he con- got, got his conditioning is not the same. I don't know. It was a, he got lit up. It's a strange decision, but I mean. <laughs> Hey, it was great. I love every, I love every second of it. It was great. And I like the, the big white, you know, genius Stanford guy, a lineman going like this with his watch. <laughs> See, this is where it all trickles down. Yeah. Well, yeah. If you talk that much trash, it's going to come back. It to trickles you when... down to everybody and yeah. people re- and they, they notice it. Oh yeah. Incentive. Okay. Um, let's do the top, the updated top 25. Let's just go through that really quick. That that came out yesterday. So where are we at? Georgia. Well, you got Georgia, Michigan, Ohio State, Florida State. So yeah, uh, that hasn't changed. They know and lost, so they're not going to move. But but then they have Oklahoma, Washington at seven. See that bugs me. I think Washington should have should be up in Washington. Washington Someone from the Pac twelve should be over be Florida there. State. Washington is a top four team, and it bugs me so much that they're not respected and put in there. It's because they're a West Coast team, the Pac-12. How can you put them ahead of these other teams? Because they're better. Just watch their games. They're better. Yeah, anyways. Penn State at seven. Doesn't Penn State play Ohio State this weekend? So Washington and Penn State are both at seven. That's weird. What the heck? That's weird. Did they just tie or something? I don't know how that... How does that work? What is this? It's weird. I don't know. And then it'll all, it'll all work itself out. But Penn State plays Ohio State. There's the big one. I mean, these are the ones we've been waiting for. Are yeah. all these the three Big Ten teams I to start predict playing each Penn other? Penn State takes them out. Where they play? It's at, at Ohio State, though. I don't care. Penn State's going to win. That's going to be interesting. That's what I'm thinking. No one's talking Penn State. No. No, they're not. And they're not, they're the sixth best team, sixth, seventh, whatever. Yeah. Texas eight, Oregon nine. Oregon's you know that's what kind of Texas. bugs me. I know. Like um, Oregon should not have been penalized at all. Yeah, how do you get penalized by, by a game like I, that? Because the people that ranked them didn't watch the game. That's how did you why. not watch the game? Yeah, that did, was man. the no, best no. game the entire weekend. You think the Michigan writer on the AP top twenty five was watching that game? No, no, no. no, he just gets online after the game. No, there was a lot of hype for that game and goes, "Okay, oh Washington won. Okay, I'll drop Oregon one. That's what they do." <laughs> Because they lost. Because so they we'll drop lost. Them down. So, no, man. No, they shouldn't have dropped it all. They shouldn't have dropped. Anyway, North Carolina is 6 and 0, and they're at 10. Undefeated. They're actually under the radar, too. They're a good team. Mm-hmm. Alabama's at 11. Alabama plays. Hey, Oregon Tennessee, State at 12, Tennessee baby. Oregon State 
I look that loss. They're at Arizona. This is going to be a test. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. Arizona's going to ruin some seasons this yeah, year. Yeah, Arizona maybe. is a scary team now. They got think <laughs> they're up three spots. We got Ole Miss at thirteen. Utah came up two spots. Now we're at fourteen with that win. What do you think about that? Utah at fourteen. I'm. <sighs> that's right. I'm surprised, man. I gotta be. I gotta admit it. No, I'm not. We're five and one, though. That's the I thing. Know, I mean, but, but so. Knowing what we know as well, Utah fans, average who, to lower than average offense, and we're at fourteen. I know, miracle. but to your point, most of those riders don't even watch us, so all they see is that we've only had one loss. Hi, Daisy. I say hi to Daisy we're, Rose's daughter. <laughs> hey, Daisy. Look, the reality is fourteen is is right. We've lost a game, but it was on the road to the yeah. number twelve team in the country. Yeah. Okay, we're getting a lot of credit for not having our full complement of teams. Plus here's what happens is years past have finally built up enough reputation that you, they go, okay, Utah, they got the logo. That's a good team. They're a top 15 team based off of what we've done in the past. Same reason that Michigan is number two, yeah, not because they beat nobody. anybody, but because they go, okay, Michigan, the last four years has been really good. That's why. Anyway, SC is at 18. They dropped eight spots. Well, yeah, because Notre Dame had, been beat the week before. I know, but that's uh, that seems a little excessive to me. That's fine. They shouldn't have dropped eight. Come on, you'd be pissed. It's a huge drop. That's too much. That's yes. a huge drop. Notre Dame's at fifteen, right behind us. They went up six. Okay, but but in all fairness, <laughs> USC was tenth. They lost. Tell me who USC has beat that has impressed you. Their first test of the year, they got blown out. Now that starts, and maybe they can move their way back up. Well, they, but they haven't. But that's true, but a lot of teams haven't played. But they beat. Yeah, I know. I know. But I the just first saying, test of the year. All lost. I'm saying, though, is dropping eight spots. It's too big of a drop. It's, that's not fair to anybody, particularly when you've been in the top 10 forever. I, 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 that's it's great. Okay. Love it. All right, Joel Klatt. Klatt. I mean, his top are, 10. We always like to read his because he knows what he's doing. Georgia, Michigan. Florida State, but he has he has Oklahoma at four, Ohio State five, Penn State six, Washington at seven, wow. Oregon at eight. So he has them he back has to them. back. Thanks. He's been pretty consistent. Uh, he had, almost he has Utah, mm -hmm. almost in his top ten, and that's that's fine. I'll take that. So, um, but you know what's interesting about the standings, and you have to acknowledge this in. The, in the Pac-12, okay. SC lost, and everyone's jacked. They're probably out of the playoff run, whatever. But the fact of the matter is, they're still four and zero in the Pac-12. Yeah. Right. They their their goal of winning the Pac-12 is very much alive. That loss right. has nothing to do. And in fact, the reality is, that say SC got it really rolling, they won out, win out. Win the Pac-12 championship they're game. In the playoff. They can make the playoff still, yeah. so they're not out of it at all. Yeah. Oh, oh. If any USC, of these squads, that's including Oregon as well. Well, because USC has to play Washington. I think they play Oregon this year. They play us, and then if they win the Pac-12 championship game, that absolutely they'll be in the playoff. That one loss won't won't set them out of the playoff. But they their schedule just like us, just like Washington, just like Oregon. This is when it gets really really tough. Yeah. I mean, they still have to play well, UCLA they play, this year. Yeah, they play us, Washington, Oregon, UCLA. And I know there's one more in there. Man. But, yeah. I mean, but that's everybody. We have to play USC, Oregon, Washington, Arizona. Mm. <laughs> Freaking Arizona. <laughs> they scare me. I know. And we have to go to Arizona. I know. I know. Which so we almost lost there a couple SC, years ago. SC schedule is Cal, Washington, Oregon, UCLA. That's not going to be easy. And you and and Utah. Um and Utah. Yeah, this week. So, it goes so Utah, Cal, Washington, that's, Oregon. That's four top 25 teams that they have left to play on their schedule. So Washington, that's all of us, right? Let's see here. Yeah. Did you uh, Hey, Jackson's going to the Arizona game. Well, I hope it's not a noon kickoff for you. The stadium is garbage. I was there for a noon kickoff in November, and it was probably the hottest stadium I've ever been to in my life. It so Washington awful. has anus U. 
this at, weekend. They're at their place. Uh, they'll kill them. They play Stanford. They'll slaughter them. Then they got SC. They got to go to the Coliseum. They have us. We've got to go to them. And then they play Oregon State. Ooh. They play Washington State. You know what? No one has an easy schedule. Whoever wins this thing, they earn it. They deserve it. Yeah, I mean, the Pac-12 is stacked. We just keep talking about it over and over again, and it really, these next few weeks, I mean, it's going to be so interesting to see what happens. The Pac-12, we all beat each other up every single year. This year is so interesting because the level of talent in some of these teams has just gone up, so I, it's going to be interesting to see if anyone can actually go through it without having that where we all beat each other. I don't know. Did you see, this probably hurt him, Paul Feinbaum, said the Pac-12 is the best conference. Fine bomb did? Uh-huh. Pencil neck? He yeah, said our that? Buddy, our buddy Thomas Orthodontics sent it to me, and I couldn't believe my wow. ears. Yeah, what is happened? it is it AI or is it real? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I can't believe it. Yeah. But it's, it is. But you're right. Like In years past, it has been. But this year, like it just feels like it's taken that next step where those top four, five teams, the Oregon State now, man, it's tough. All right. Do you want to do any the yes, no, maybe so's? You want to do a couple? We, let's do a couple. We're, we have a couple more minutes. We're running I'll, I'll out of like, time. I'll give like three. All right. Hold yes, on. no, maybe so. All right. And Gary's going to say maybe so to all these anyway. So, <laughs> all right. Here's my first one. It goes back to, uh, to Washington. Does Washington make the playoff? Yes. I want to manifest it. Yes. Huskies. Go Huskies. <laughs> what? Go. Yes. Okay, me too. Playoff, Washington to the playoff. Washington to the playoff. No, because we're going to knock them out. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> we're going to knock, we're going up okay. there and they're going to think, ah, eh, we'll just blow these guys out. We're going to go up and do some damage. All right. Next question. The playoff killers. Gary already mentioned this, um, but does Penn State upset Ohio State this week? Yes. <laughs> yes, they do. I, I'd say no, just based on it being, oh, it's at Ohio State. I feel like those three teams, whoever the home team is, is just going to win. So maybe they upset Michigan, actually, but I think Michigan's better than all of them. So, but I say no. I say yeah. Ooh. I'd I, like it if they upset Ohio I, State. I've watched both those teams. It's going to be a great game. I That's the kind of football that I just, I love. It's going to be 24-21, <laughs> beat the crap out of each other kind of football. I, I That's that's for me. All right. Um, This one's for Bryn. Hmm. Okay, I'll sit it out. I'll sit <laughs> it out. Well, this is this will be the last one, and I want to know, and hopefully you can get involved. Is the Taylor Swift Travis Kelsey a publicity stunt? Yeah. Okay, Gary. It is. No I, way. I don't buy the relationship. It's all set up. It's I, a freaking setup. I said that from the beginning. It's all cash. It's because <laughs> if they had only been dating like a week. She's not sitting up there in the box with his mom being all chummy and what, whatever. It's fake. I cannot believe <laughs> who gives a crap, number one. But the fact that they've shot, they keep showing it, showing it, showing what, her. What'd you say? What did we say, what Rose? I say, Rose? Maybe <laughs> hear me out. Did I say that? <laughs> did he say <laughs> it? Yeah, the only, like, I'm watching the game going, who cares? The Swifties. It's the NFL the trying to get. Cares? They're trying to get. They're, they're trying, trying to, get, to get, get the women. It's ridiculous. They're trying to get the women. Okay, here's my question: Are are, are there actually women who now are going to sit down and watch the game? Yes. For that no. slim chance, where they show her in the yes in the stands, okay. jumping up they and need. down. You two don't understand the Swifty craze. I'm not a Swifty. You don't understand. Yes. His jersey sold out the next day. Okay, it's these be- people are. Re- it's because are of the nuts. Swifties. They literally sit there and watch the game and are waiting just for him to come on the screen and for her to come on the screen. Okay. I we can't, can't end on that, can we? I, I'm weird. like, I was, I'm, they're posting about it so much. I'm going, can they post about Colorado a little bit again? <laughs> like, I'm to that point now. It's so obnoxious. <laughs> Austin, See, I'm Austin, sorry, man. I'm sorry his about wife, that. His wife, well, that's what they were trying to do. They're trying to get more women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can't end on that. Do you have another question? Give Some, us one last. Someone one said, okay, I don't remember who it was. I'm sorry, but I saw you said, will Colorado make a bowl game? Yes. I actually thought that one. Yes, no, maybe so. They have a tough schedule. I don't have but a bowl in six. Got to get six. They're at four They're right at now. Four. They got to get to six. And they have, oh. they have to win What's two more. What's their schedule? I know they have to go to Washington State. They uh-huh. have to come, come to here. Salt Lake. 
Loss, loss. They I play can't. Arizona. Loss. Oh, yeah. They Arizona. play UCLA. Loss. Um, I don't know. At it's, UCLA. It's kind of not looking. It's not Probably looking easy. Here. You guys are putting me on the spot here. Oh, a lot of people are saying, no, they don't think they're going to make a bowl game. I'm with you. I, I'm telling you, their schedule is no, really it's tough. Hard. Okay, they've got UCLA at UCLA. Oregon State. It's at Colorado, but Oregon State. Yeah, but Oregon State. Arizona. It's at Colorado, but Arizona. And then they finish up the year at Washington State at Utah. And you want to talk. So do they get a win two? Can they win two more? It's of those? actually going to be cold at those last two games. Going to Pullman in November. That's going to be, that's tough, dude. Honestly, uh, I'm going to say no. I'm pissed right. because the Colorado UCLA game is the time slot that I want. Mm -hmm. It's a six o'clock game. <sighs> No, it's like a 4.30 on ESPN. next Saturday. Next when we play Oregon, we're 1.30 p.m. <laughs> Colorado, UCLA is the like afternoon perfect time. But whatever, we're not going to get into Take it. Care but, about you know, that. whatever. All whatever. right. We've got big things to worry about this weekend. Utes. Oh, man. Keep the faith. Be positive. Positivity. Pos Can you feel it? Mike. Can you feel Mike. it? Mike, I did the positivity thing. It worked last time. So positivity. We need to go into a sweat lodge, man. And let. Please. Make let the smoke. Cry. Make him cry. Cry, baby. Huh? Caleb, cry, Someone said baby, make Caleb, Caleb cry. cry baby, All right. Caleb. All right. Okay. Go, Utes. Please subscribe. Follow along. Share. Like. Do all the things. Go, you baby. Baby. Go Utes. Go Utes, baby. Coming to the Coliseum. Cheer loud if you're going to be there. We're going to do it. Yep. Cheers.